want to show you here is uh, an experiment that I hope will stimulate the thought processes of the people out there that are considering how this system works and how they might use it. Here from the output, I'm using one lead again. You can see only the red lead is connected to the L3. This set of diodes, AV plug on the back, that's it. You can see that there's nothing, let me back up for you. There's nothing here, there's nothing underneath. It's strictly this uh, single lead off of the generator. And the ground lead to complete the circuit for the output is just hanging on the insulation of the red feed lead or hot lead here. And what I'm going to do is I'm picking off the actual earth ground. If this were floating, we have a maximum of 42 volts peak to peak. And since I'm using the earth ground, it's 30 volts peak to peak. I'm using a sine wave. My multiplier is 1. My dial is 2. We're operating at 2 hertz. You can see that by the LEDs. But also what's happening is both of these coils, the one off of the actual earth ground here through this dial, the aluminum foil that I've stuck in there to pick that ground up, because as you can see all of these are floating. And the spatial resonance set up between the two coils, the pumping action of the actual AV plug and the LEDs themselves have forced this circuit to go into oscillation. And that obviously can be confirmed here. You can see what happens here. I'm killing the whole operation by touching one of the other diodes. I can reduce the output by grabbing the back of the LEDs. I can take this coil. You'll see some difference. I can take and do this. You'll see them uh, quit oscillation. So you can see that it's definitely going on between these two systems. And I don't like working with mains power because of the liabilities and the dangers involved. But it would be interesting if someone had an isolation transformer and attempted to do this at 125 volts. Might prove quite interesting. Now, yes, I have done it. But I think someone out there might want to try it. Or, better yet, go ahead and simulate it this way, which is far safer. Uh, use a signal generator that's capable of at least 30 volts peak to peak. Now, if you don't believe that it's in oscillation, let me show you something. An oscilloscope picture. And I've got the probe just hanging off of the oscilloscope. It's not hooked to anything. And let's take a look at the spectrum analyzer. And you can see that those frequencies are actually being pulsed at about a 2 hertz rate. So it's going in and out of oscillation and that's what you're seeing with the blinking lights. And obviously that's a result of how the AV plug and the LEDs are connected, why it's actually switching on and 